It's time to find out what Pirate Pete is up to today. And this is a book that I really have never read until this year. It's called Pirate Pete's Talk Like a Parrot. And you guys made some great parrots the other day. So let's see what happens. Again, it's by Kim, Kim Kennedy and illustrated by Doug Kennedy. Pirate Pete's Talk Like a Parrot. A pirate. <laughs> pirate Pete's Talk Like a Pirate. Pirate Pete had the most amazing ship ever to sail the high seas, but he needed a crew. Not any crew would do, however. I needs me a pirate crew, Pete told his parrot, and I know just where to find one. Rascal Island. Er, to Rascal Island we go, cried the bird. Pete spun the wheel towards the sea of mischief, and soon his speedy ship had reached Rascal Island. Pete dropped anchor in the bay, and then he hung a sign across the ship's bow. Buccaneers wanted. Before long, a boat filled with rascals rowed up to the ship. Pete rubbed his hands in glee. They were the dirtiest, most mischievous, and sneakiest looking scallywags and scurvy dogs he had ever laid eyes on. One by one, the rascals climbed aboard the ship. Listen up, mateys, Arrgh! announced the parrot. If ye wants to sail with Pete, then ye's got to prove ye's got what it takes. Arrgh! Pete nodded and declared, ye needs a peg leg and an old eye patch, a fierce looking hook and a beard ye can scratch. Ye got to load a cannon and know how to fire it, but most of all, ye got to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and I sees ye got a peg leg, hook, and eye patch, and that beard of yours, does it hanker for a scratch? It is quite itchy, answered the man, especially during the summer when the weather tends to be sultry. Blow me down, bellowed Pete. Ye don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the man splashed overboard, Pete hollered, Ye should have said, when the sun's a-blazin', me beard gets the itches, worse than a bucket of sand down me britches. Arrgh! Next, ordered the parrot. Pete squinted at the rest of the rascals and said, Ye gots to be stubborn and mighty cranky. Ye gots to be dirty and awfully stanky. Ye gots a load of cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, ye got to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, looked at the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and I sees that you're plenty dirty and stanky. But is ye stubborn and cranky? Oh, indeed, replied the rascal. Sometimes I'm very irritable, especially when I don't eat my breakfast. Shiver me timbers, shouted Pete. Ye don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal went overboard, Pete cried. Ye should have said, I's as mean as a shark that's stuck in a tub when I've not scarfed me a morning's grub. <coughs> Next, squawked the bird. Pete glared at the rascals and said, Ye got to love treasure. Why, it's your duty to plunge, to plunder ship 
and shore for gleaming booty. Ye gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it, but most of all, ye gots to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. And judging by the golden rubies you're flaunting, I reckon you've done some plundering in your day. That is correct, said the rascal. I've misappropriated a number of fine jewels without permission. Blimey, cried Pete. Ye don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal leaped overboard, Pete shouted, Ye should have said, I've pilfered loot on land and at sea, and no man's say so has ever stopped me. Right, next, blared the parrot. Pete shook his head. He finally had lost his patience. He curled up his lip as the last rascal and declared, Ye gots to trim the sails and mine the deck. Ye gots to be brave in case of shipwreck. Ye gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, ye gots to talk like a pirate. The rascal walked forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. But is ye brave? Cause no lily livered seafarer is gonna sail with me. I can assure you that I am extremely courageous, said the rascal. I will conduct myself with valor at all times. Confound it, shouted Pete, stomping his foot. Ye don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal dropped overboard, Pete yelled, Ye should have said, I've not a yellow-bellied bone from me head to my toes. I'll stand brave upon this ship wherever it goes. Can you believe it? moaned Pete to his parrot. Out of all of them rascals, not a one was fit for me crew. Er, tis true, squawked the parrot. By the powers? That's no more than a bunch of squiffies and sprogs. None of them fit to go a swashbuckling and a plundering for pieces of eight upon the briny blue on this here vessel. Pete blinked. Why, ye talk like a pirate, he cheered to the bird. You're all the crew I needs. Way anchor. Ar, aye, aye, said the parrot, and off they sailed, back to the high seas where Pete and his bird, a pirate always gets the last word. They looked for a crew so they could hire it, but blimey, none of them could talk like a pirate. Maybe you would like to be talking like a pirate. You just gotta be mean. Have fun. Give it a try.